Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes one and two of Hana Monogatari. Okay, so before we get started, um, I decided because I was because so, since I was supposed to do the test right, but I didn't. Um, so I'm doing it today. So I rewatched the last few minutes of Atori Monogatari before essentially I started watching this, and I looked at it over again because. If we go back to the point where, yes, I did watch a 20 and I'm thinking, yeah, this is going to happen. And Hana, like, we're going to have this fight, essentially. And then we get to the ending of Koi, where it, she's okay. And then, you know, Kaiki supposedly gets killed by, you know, the guy who sent the curse off to her and everything. And, and you know, shit like that. Hopefully Kaiki's not dead. Because, like, I mean, I, like I said, my love-hate relationship with him. And honestly, I don't want to see him go yet because I really like him at times. I feel like this trailer that they showed, it's essentially not gonna happen. I, I don't know why, because I looked at it while I was watching. I was reading everything, making sure. I was like, okay. Yeah, da, 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 da. I was like, this just seems like how can I compare this to? Oh, okay. I know exactly what to compare it to. There was one episode on Fire Force. I don't, it was like early, early on. I think it was maybe about like episode five or episode six where, um, Arthur essentially, you know, he was, to go on, he was supposed to go on this like mission or some shit. I don't really remember. It's been a while. Um, and it seemed like they were going to do something with it. And then it was the following week. Where it seemed, to me, it felt like Arthur was going to be a bad guy. How, like, in Naruto, where, like, Sasuke ended up being a bad guy or some shit like that. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen Naruto. Um, so I was thinking, oh, shit, they're really going to do this with Arthur. So the following week, I asked a question about it. And everybody was like, no, 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 it's just a joke. It's just a running little thing. It's not, there's nothing else that's going to come with it. I feel like it's essentially that, but with this series. It, it's essentially that, um... She made it up, used so many details from, like, several movies and TV shows and books and how they go a little dramatic and stuff and saying, here's, like, the final battle, almost Avengers-esque, where they're going against Thanos and stuff. And so now that, because of the fact is, she doesn't have the snake god inside of her anymore, I, I'm just thinking, she's going to be a normal girl. She may have her memories of what she predominantly did, but I don't think my best girl, freaking Agaragi, um, Shinobu, they're going to die. I don't feel like anybody's going to die. I feel like these, I think it's five episodes for this arc. Um, it's just really going to be them getting ready for graduation. Probably maybe taking some tests. And stuff, typically what, you know, what you normally have to do when you're getting ready to essentially graduate and then get ready to go on to college and shit like that. I think that's what it is. Like, they, there may be some drama, but I, I don't know. I, I mean, pff, I'm about to watch the episode in a fucking minute, but I don't fucking know. And, I mean, it interests me. I'm, I'm just wondering, are they, like, essentially, this is what I really want to happen in the first, like, maybe five to ten minutes of this first episode. I want Agaragi <laughs> to go find his damn girlfriend and be like, hey, Kaiki was here. Did you know? <laughs> you know, it's just like, no. <laughs> Make some shit up or whatever. I mean, uh, I don't know. I really don't know. And then they're probably gonna be like, well, yeah, maybe we should contact Kaiki again. And then he never answers his phone and then we're all like, yeah, he's dead, but... <laughs> I don't know. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three, two, one, go. Yeah, it's basically about comfort. Well, finally. That's essentially what the fuck this is gonna be. Mm hmm. It actually looks like an eye. Wow. 
Yeah. Let's see, damn, see, we passed January and February. Holy shit, Jesus. She looks badass. I don't worry. See, I feel like now it's not only going to be about her in this arc, it's going to be her and Sandrahada, like, back and forth, possibly, maybe. Mm -hmm. Hell, you won't even have Hanukkah either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely not going to be what I think it is. Well, at first. Mm -hmm. What the hell is that? I think this is the only opening I haven't seen. Yeah, because then I wouldn't have been like, who the fuck is that? Yeah, <laughs> but no, they graduated. <laughs> Bitch, why are you wearing a guy outfit? Yeah. Unless you be in like Momiji from Fruits Basket. Bitch, what? What? What the? Okay. So, Oshino's niece is Oshino's nephew. Okay. So then what? 
Two, what? How the hell are you doing that? I can't even do that shit. It's weird because I never would have assumed that, you know, Kambu and Ogi would be friends because we've never essentially seen these two talk until now. Ogi's talked to literally two other people besides her. You know, in real life, they probably would have erased the shit out of them. Hmm, okay. <laughs> I mean, damn. Okay. See, now, why do I feel like, you know, Kambadu, she's going to say something, and then she's going to fucking regret it. Yeah, she's definitely going to regret that shit. That too. Oh my god, with your fucking boom base. Yeah, but see, I don't think it is. Like, you know, what about the girl in the opening? I mean, we might not even see her until later on in this episode. Oh my god.
you know, I would have assumed that his sisters would have gone to the same high school as him, but okay. Bring it there. She would do that one. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if freaking Homade popped <laughs> up. I'm sorry. It's gotta be that. It is. Okay. But then how did you get your injury, though? And I think it just said that, but I went too fucking fast. Yeah, cause I don't think you could actually like, make money on that. Oh, good, but.
I don't know why, but for a moment I thought she would use them all as blackmail for them. Yeah, but you're still strange as fuck. Yeah, but in a way, it's not good if I'm away from my problems. Because it never gets solved. It's you avoiding everything. And there are people who do that. Hmm. Possibly. But the thing is, we may never know, unless you want to do something about that. Could you stop groping your- I mean, you're not really groping her boob, but could you take your hand off her boob, please? Thank you. Really? <laughs> hmm. 
Probably. Maybe before the brother time this series ends, I don't know. You never know what the fuck could happen. Clippers? Your arm. Yeah. It's just a regular old arm. Um, she did something. Roka did something. Of course she did. I mean, come on now. What the fuck? Okay. So, I don't trust the rock. <laughs> just the feeling I have in, the, in her aura. And you're just like, bitch, no. Don't want to fuck with you. Um, I don't know what else is really to say about this first episode. It was really good. I Like, for a moment in the way it was going, it felt like it was just a one-off. Where it's just like, okay. Here's like the beginning and end of Kamaru and her story, and then and then the next episode we're gonna focus on somebody else. But then the way this just ended, of course, this whole arc is really just gonna be about her. I think a little bit of Central Hada, maybe I'm not 100 sure now because the fact is it's just Kamaru, and I'm fine with that because she's the only girl out of the group who we necessarily didn't get to see like another part of, and I was like, damn. They might not finish, like, do her. They, I might finish this damn series, and I'm not going to have anything else on her, but damn. I also, in in the beginning, I didn't really like what her mom was saying, but at the same time, I get that, because it's just what parents do. I don't know. I, I just don't know. But some of the things that she said, I agreed with, and some of them I didn't. Same thing with the stuff that she said at the end. Because, I mean, come on, it's a parent, and sometimes it's like, damned if you do, damned if you don't. You ain't gonna give me a preview? You are not gonna give me a preview. What the fuck is this? No, I don't accept that. Okay, so, can we please talk about the fucking elephant in the room with Oshino's, like, nephew, niece now? Like, okay, so when Agaragi was in school, you a girl, and now... He's gone. You're with Kamaru, and now you're a boy. So are you going both ways? Are, are you going back and forth? Or is he just some, like, he's just a boy. So I can call him a him. Because I'm getting mixed up. I'm going, one minute I'm going to call her a call her a her, or a him, or whatever. Like, you literally is going to come out of my mouth. But then I feel like there's a reason why he is the way he is. And essentially whatever the fuck he's doing, because still... You, you have every single time when he's around. I have so many fucking questions going through my mind, but then they never get answered. So I'm sitting here looking at this damn character wondering when the fuck are you going to get your time to shine when we find out whatever the fuck is going on with you? Because, I mean, yes, this is essentially the last second of season two before I'm on the final damn series. And who knows, like, it, it's gonna, I have a feeling it's going to come. I don't know when it's going to come, but... Are you fucking kidding me? Like, I wasn't expecting that. Like, Momiji ass. Like, come on. <laughs> when Momiji does it, it's cute. This character, I'm like... 
What? And then, like, you have a male voice. You went from a female voice to a male voice, which I still think it's a female voicing this character. It's just a female doing a deeper voice. But I, I don't know. What the fuck is going on? Like, come on, man. It's only 7 o'clock. I'm like, what? <laughs> I can't. I mean, oh, God. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't imagine what the hell's gonna happen in episode two. I mean, if episode one had me like this, I cannot fucking imagine what the hell episode two is gonna foretold. But, I mean, it's going good. I'm glad that it's about Kamaru and, you know, the fact is that, yes, she is alone, but she has <laughs> Oshino's nephew! <laughs> and then Agarai's sisters, and then maybe anyone else is there, so I'm still kind of hoping maybe a little teeny tiny part of myself like even though everyone else is at college they may some way I don't know how much like this I'm five percent five percent of me is like they might show up I mean because it, it's just like okay it's kind of like how at the beginning of the second season where each girl had their moment their second moment to shine where because essentially somebody I talked about this like in um Hanekawa's um, second art, and how I was saying, I wish Agaragi Kun wasn't really there helping them and they could all do it by themselves. But I, I do like that. But essentially, at the same time, it's like, damn, you're wondering, like, where's this character? Where's that character? Where's this one, that one, whoever? It feels weird because of the, if we go back to last week, that was the first time, well, no, that was the second time um, in a while since we've seen. Agaragi. And because of the fact that he's now in the college, and it's like, well, shit. This is where, I mean, like, th this is how I felt towards Glee, where I was like, oh my god, I want to see this character, this character, that character. And because of the fact is they've graduated and shit, and then you're like, well, damn, I can't see this character anymore because they graduated, and then they've been on, they got kicked out of the cast, so we're only really focusing on this character, and nothing else. And you're just like, the fuck? I, I, I don't know. I don't fucking know. Go ahead, pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode two. Okay, episode two and three, two, one, go. I don't know. Yeah. Fucking Roka. I don't know. Them. Possibly. Roka. And just left. Well, now you just get to be a normal girl. <laughs> and I'm not counting that as just seeing them because that's just a fucking text. <laughs> So does it mean you're finally going to clean your room again? <laughs> but then, okay, here's one thing that I did want to say that I didn't say at the end. With this opening and the way these two, because I was assuming that these two were friends, even though that, yeah, they're not going to the same high school, middle school, shit like that. But the way this opening portrays these two as characters is it seems like they were really good friends. Something, you know, they had an argument and then bada bing bada boom, they're not talking anymore. But you just kind of fucked me over with that, didn't you? 
Because she, I mean, she get bitch slapped. Roka runs away. And, and then it is what it is. But then it could mean, still mean something. But we ain't gonna know until like four, five, four, no, three, four, five. You're still going to wrap it, though? I get that. You know, I mean... Yeah. Because of the fact that you know when someone's saying, Oh, hey, your arm! Like, yeah, it's not wrapped. Yeah, yeah. To just keep up appearances. Hmm. Feels weird, doesn't it? Right? I know, isn't that weird? But not as weird as what, you know, your situation, bruh. So it's a possibility that, you know, Kambadu's wish was Roka's last wish. Not even a possibility it is. So then, no, because then Roka wouldn't be around anymore. I mean, she could go and check, but there's no way in hell that she would still be there. Right. What the fuck? But she just saw it yesterday again. Yeah. See, then it makes me wonder, like, I don't think it's maybe, like, a bitch. Maybe. 15th of April. Like, it's a possibility she never really existed, but I don't know. 
I can't even. I got nothing to go on that. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? How the fuck you survive, motherfucker? I mean, you got. <laughs> And because, yeah, he did want to talk to her. So you're not even going to talk about what the fuck happened after that day? Oh. I'm glad. But if you had your monkey arm, I think you you would have been fine. But because of the fact is that you just have a regular old arm now, you're sort of weak and useless. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Oh. Damn, bro. Uh, but no, yeah, because you fucking lie about everything. I can't even believe I took that seriously. <laughs> My dumbass. Mm -hmm. Just be careful. And if he does anything, call 911, kick him in the nuts, run. Honestly, you're just making me fucking hungry. And I'm not eating it until after I watch Simple Gear.
guess I'm gonna fight Gambaru. Mm, yeah. Makes me wonder if she might pop up. Of course. But you could be lying. See, it would have been better if they had like pictures of her mom or even her dad. But you never know. Oh, 
Why would she? Okay. All right. I'm not going to question that. You sure about that? Mm -hmm. Ugh. I mean, but it, it's possible that I already spoke to him. You are so fucking weird, but... <laughs> yeah. Roca? Hey, Roca. But, um, okay. 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 All right. All right. I'll hand it to you. Just, you know what? Take that. Take it. Take it. Okay. I ain't got nothing to say about that. Mm, I'm not even going to question anything. No, we'll wait until next week. I'll find out this week and find out what the fuck. Bruh, uh, okay. But seriously, <laughs> I had a feeling. I was like, come on, he ain't dead. Until, typically, I kind of say this with like any anime that I see where like a character supposedly dies. Until they stop breathing, they bleed all the way the fuck out, or in the next episode, we see their damn body. 
you can't count that person out because you never know what the hell could possibly happen. And he's there. I mean, damn, I was I expecting him to immediately be in this episode? Not really. I was kind of expecting him to be maybe somewhat close to the end. But it was a really nice surprise to just see him. Because I was like, for a moment, like while I was watching, I was kind of thinking about him for a moment. I was going to say something, but then I heard the voice and I was like, this motherfucker. <laughs> like, what the fuck? But then I, I need closure about that. Like, the fact is that he's here and he's not going to talk about the shit that happened at the end of Koi Monogatsu. Like, come on. That, that To me, that's a little fucked up because it's like, you know... I, I want to know. I have the right to know. I mean, come on, damn it. But you're just like, no. Yeah. So you got to keep that to yourself. Maybe. She's probably not even going to find her until, like, episode five. And then nothing else, right? No preview? Nothing. Of course. I don't know why, but I feel like... Cotton... She's not gonna find anything. Because just think about it at the beginning of the episode. When she was talking about Roka. And how her... Um, company teammate was talking about her and everything. And then essentially it just seemed like... It seems like she's just a person who... Essentially disappeared off the face of the earth. Not died or anything. Maybe like kind of faked her death. Like if you've seen fucking Pretty Little Liars or any type of TV show where essentially a character fakes the death, they gotta find like some mysterious bullshit and everything and stuff like that. It seems like that. But it's like, how can one minute, how can you be here in episode one and then you're gone the next? And it's just like, what the fuck type of Twilight Zone am I in right now? Like, are we in some alternate universe or some shit? But, I, I mean, yeah, the biggest surprise about this damn episode in a nutshell is fucking Kaiki. And literally the fact is, and I, the funny thing was, ever since he really wanted to talk to Kamada, like, that was the biggest thing that I've been wanting for, like, the longest time. Even essentially where he, like, talked about it again in last, um, in the last arc. And I was like, well, maybe you might not get into, like, season three. And then when he supposedly died, I was like, oh, you are not never gonna get that. But then, no, you're... It happened, and it's just, it's so fucking weird, because it's like, in this series, it, it just seems like there's so many characters, and you want certain characters to talk to other characters, and then you're like, 50 out of 50, it may happen, or it may not. So, I mean, it would be weird, I mean, because like, shit, you can't do it my way, because my way is gone. I mean, what the hell? And who knows if my way is even gonna fucking return? I don't know, y'all fucking know. And none of y'all are really going to tell me. Don't tell me because I swear to God. But I mean, ooh, this is like, it, it's just the from the opening to, you know, Kamaru's and Roka's like buddy, I'm not even going to say, say it a friendship, relationship. It, it's just, it's weird. And it makes me question a lot of things. But then at the same time, when I look at the opening, it makes me not want to say, okay, everything from the opening doesn't matter and everything from the episode is really true but it just makes me think at the same time what uh, with this opening it has to deal with more things between these two so i mean like uh, there's points where like with last episode and this episode it still makes me think like they had a 
somewhat of a friendship and then because of whatever happened Kabadu gets slapped and after that they're on their separate ways and whatever I don't know we ain't gonna I'm not gonna know until anything else what the hell might possibly happen next until like Sunday because that is the only fucking day I can watch it because I'm busy as fuck this week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episodes one and two of Hana Monogatari. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for the Patreons. And next Monday for everybody else for episodes three and four. Bye, guys.